We're closing in on the knockout stages with a fiery match between Canada and Morocco, the last Arab nation standing at the World Cup. With the tournament being hosted in the Middle East for the very first time, fans have jumped on an unprecedented opportunity to voice their support for Palestine, waving the red, white, black and green flag for the world to see both on and off the pitch. We have a second country here. We know that uh, and then we see Palestinian flags all, 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 over all areas here. So we feel very comfortable. We're actually having Palestinian uh, flags and we're going to Morocco and we are like, like one team, like one country, like one home. This is the first time for me I, I can wear this without anybody telling me why. I'm so proud of my country and I'm, I'm so proud of the support that Qatar is giving up to, to us. It's the right is with us. And finally, eventually, we have somebody to stand for us. Again, it's just so overwhelming to see Palestine being recognized, and I'm glad that it's getting the recognition that it deserves. Really happy that uh, for the first time we're allowed to do that, because Israel doesn't exist, only Palestine. We're going to win for them. We are super lucky to have this chance to show the whole world like how we Arab like really feel and how we are proud of that. I feel so proud of being uh, uh, Arab and of being in a country like Qatar. Welcome to Palestine, inshallah. Oh, Is it now the second time and we are the only Arab team now? Congratulations to the all Arab. It's a spectacular win for Morocco, which has officially battled its way into the knockout for the second time in history. Two things have been made very clear tonight. This is an epic moment for Arab football and the plight of the Palestinians will continue to be raised and celebrated among the people of the region, even if some nations choose to normalize.